vegetation on the front get trimmed back at least 12 inches. Okay. And that serves three purposes. The first purpose is it provides appropriate airflow behind the, the vegetation so this situation doesn't start to occur where you start seeing mildew building up because of the lack of airflow. And you can see it more in that corner there. So by allow, having this trim back and allowing the air to get through there, it will help minimize the uh, growth of mildew. The other thing is... So, so what needs to be done? Like the uh, this uh, trimming trim all of the trees. So the they're not going to be the touching... Side. They're not going to be touching the building. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. He, here you, you kind of like have a distance, what you say, in the back of the building? Yeah. Well, these trees grow very tall. Okay. And somebody just cut them off, and they look very unsightly. You, what, what yeah, it looks like someone just come and, and been cutting them. Yeah. So what you may want to do is remove them and put shorter plantings out here, so that way they're more easily managed right. and they don't block the airflow. Because every time they're gonna, this kind of tree gonna grow again. It'll grow and, up and, and it will create and the be same near the, the property. Okay. So if you come around here, from <coughs> the front walkway, you have a concrete walkway. Yeah. And these front stairs have been displaced uh, over time. So the earth has pushed against them and displaced them and cracked them. So I'm gonna recommend that they get repaired, but more importantly, yeah. There's no railing on these stairs. And yeah. They need to have a railing to support somebody if they are walking down them. All right, from both sides. Yes. Okay. And you'll see that there's a crack right through the center of the, of the stairway here. Yeah. Right. Walking up to the front of the home. The steps on the front of the home seem to be in good condition. Okay. I would recommend painting the railings because the railings okay. are rusty. showing a little bit of rust and okay. you want to be able to uh, minimize any detail. Like an oil, oil paint or something. Yep, oil paint. Oil paint, yeah. So on this side is where you can see this tree is very close to the foundation. Yeah, and you want to remove close, that. Yeah. Trees especially because the roots can damage the foundation. So that's why I recommend... You can push it up. That's right. If you're going to have uh, vegetation here, okay. uh, you know, small vegetation where the roots don't affect the foundation. All right. Okay. Yeah, you, and you'll also okay. see... You can see here they try to either cut it or... Yep. Maybe it's... Yeah. Okay. If you come to this side, this is the side with the crack in the foundation that I want okay. to look at. All right. From in the, the base side. To see what it looks like from so the you see they, they try to patch it? Correct. Okay. Your driveway has a slope down to the street, and it has a uh, typical uh, settlement and wear in it from use over time. Okay. The curbing on the left-hand side of the driveway, as we're facing it right now, has deteriorated, and you'll see that some of the hill is starting to work its way towards the driveway. So that may you may want to address that to uh, set up the curbing like it is on the right-hand side. That helps manage the water and the snow. All right. And, so there and are here, here you can see that the holes been patched with, with silicone. Yeah. So the same thing needs to be done on the, on, the other, other on the other side. And if you take a look at the exterior of the home right mm -hmm. here, you'll see that there's uh, mildew growing on the exterior of the home. So I'm yeah. going to recommend that that gets sprayed down with an antibiotic or a... a All right. A, like a special spray for yeah. an antifungal. 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 And then um, washed off. And if you use a pressure washer, just be careful because with aluminum siding, you can take the paint off. Well, is it more cosmetic pressure. or is it also have any functional need? Well, it's it's mainly cosmetic, the look of it. But if you don't if you don't take and remove the mildew, it's just going to spread around the entire home. Okay. And you just want to try and keep it at yeah. All right, so try to to stop the growth. Correct. All right, do, do you think these foundations, like water might come in? Well, so this is the Snow. concern that I want to check from the inside, especially here around this hatchway. Yeah. The hatchway is set at the, at the ground level, so any snow or rain is going to run off around this corner. And you can see that there's a hole here directly into the basement. So I want to be able to see this from inside yeah. and take a look at the condition. And that's why I pulled some of this away here 
you have the same condition on the All other right. side of that rock. So we're going to see in the basement if there's any water penetration. Correct. And then here for this back door, you have wood to ground contact and siding to ground contact. Yes. So we always recommend trying to minimize that. All right. All right. And here is the story of probably like a car backed in. Looks like that was the possibility, and they probably replaced the aluminum siding um, and then put a barrier up so that yeah. way so cars whatever car hit the building. Yeah. So I've taken a look at the roof. This a lower roof here is a rolled roof material. It's at the end of its life. Oh, yeah. It's buckling, and there are cracks in it, so it definitely needs to be replaced. The plumbing vents, I've looked at some of the plumbing vents, and if you look around closely, you'll see some cracking in the rubber boot material right where the plumbing vents are. So when they replace the roof, have them replace the boots also around okay. the, the plumbing vents so that way you get a good proper seat. Do you think the entire roof needs to be replaced or just well, some part of it? It'll be difficult to tell until I get into the upper levels. But this whole lower roof, yeah. definitely this you can see, you, you can definitely see, and it, it's not something that you can do like a second layer. No. <clears throat> yeah. And then <clears throat> this definitely look. needs to be totally removed. At least the roof for, for this. Now, do you think this is a legal five unit, or this was an extension? Well, it, it was, was a four and, and extended to five, or it was a four extended to <clears throat> five, uh, according to what the real estate agent just told me. Oh, okay. I see. Um, so, so all, all of this back area is kind of like another unit that was added. It was added, for sure. All right. So if you look at the upper roof right here in the upper corner, yeah, um, you'll notice that there's a lot of moss and mildew on that roof okay. up there. And that's due from the overhanging trees. And we always recommend trimming back any overhanging limbs over the home. So that way, if there's a storm, there won't be any storm damage to the roof. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like these trees over right. here. Correct. Is it something you can call the city to do? Or no, the city won't do that. They're going to. It's tell the landlords. You. Yes, that it because is it's part of the. Uh, it's it's inside this. Um, it's part of the. It's, the it's it's part of the property. Yeah. Correct. Okay. All right. So if you look back here, you'll see parts of the brick exposed here, okay. and some of the the masonry has been deteriorated. So this is the area that I had recommend that it gets uh, uh, looked at by a mason. And they're going to want to come in here and probably put a parge coating on that to be able to seal that in and secure that area. So that way, any of this here, um, it will seal the bricks. It'll keep it watertight. And more importantly, um, it'll look a lot better cosmetically because right now it looks like this has just been patched here. Yeah, and there a, a lot of patches. לא שומעים בכלל? לא, חבר'ה, אנחנו נמצאים פה בבדיקה, באינספקשן של נכס של חמש יחידות. Uh, כמו שאתם רואים, יש uh, אזורים שצריכים עבודה. צריך להחליף את הגג, לפחות uh, ביחידה שהורחבה. זה היה נכס של ארבע יחידות שהורחב ל... לנכס, uh, ל, ליחידה נוספת. פה אתם יכולים לראות סיפור no, מעניין שהיה, שרכבים כנראה נכנסו פה ב, בסיידינג, אז זה הוחלף לצבע אחר ו, ועשו פה מחסום. ואנחנו בקרוב, אנחנו ניכנס לבייסמנט לראות אם uh, נכנסים מים לבייסמנט, במיוחד באזורים האלה. הבתים בקונטיקט, הרבה מהבתים הם בתים היסטוריים, בנייה משנות 1900, אז חשוב מאוד לבדוק את מצב הנכסים. וכמו שאתם רואים את האזור באופן כללי, זה אזור מקסים. אזור ממש ממש יפה. יש פה כנסיות יפות, והיתרון שהוא ממש מרחק הליכה לתחנת רכבת חדשה. 
Okay, let's go they inside. To get inside. They only have a limited amount. Oh, all right. Yeah, we got to do the inside and then the outside after. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. All right. You got to come back here again? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense to finish the inside first. <laughs> yes. And then the outside. We, we, we have the outside forever. You can you stay. Uh, yeah, you can sleep around. All right. Okay. Is there any light here? Oh, <laughs> some light. All right. All right. So I have to have. What is it that you have so this is the documentation I talked to you about earlier, and I have, um, I'll have to have you sign. So this is the standards of practice, the Connecticut, State of Connecticut Home Inspection Standards of Practice that I explained to you earlier. All right. So I will need your signature and date here. And do you have, still have the pen that I gave you? Today is what? Uh, today is the 12th. Okay. All right. So this is not not the next level. This document is the front page of our contract, and I just need your initials there. Okay. And this is the back page of the contract. His interest in politics and political science is a thing called this year. I don't know if you've heard of the IB program. He's in the IB program. And international signature and the date today. It's like an international type of platform. The thing about it is that they you concentrate your junior years in your subjects. So you'll get a copy of all of these documents from the other kind of science that you choose here. What I'm learning is that you just, I just don't know yet. And what I would have thought he would have been a political science guy is chemistry teachers like. He's a professor at Quinnipiac, and he's like, you know, kind of come over, see if he likes the. What, he's going to be a teacher's assistant next year for that class, so, but that can change next year. That'd be nice. So the short answer to that, he has no idea. I keep asking him, like, you know, where do you want to go? We've got to sell him in school. We've got to go. We take him around. He has no idea. So it's a little pressure. Where my younger son טוב חברים, אנחנו מתחילים לבדוק עכשיו את כל היחידות. כשיהיה משהו מותח בסיפור, נצרף אתכם שוב ללייב. שלום לכם בינתיים.